Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Julia, I'm a mindset coach and here on High Value I'm talking about all things consciousness, inner healing, self-love and manifestation. In today's video I'm going to talk about what your dreams are telling you about your manifestation. But before I jump into it, I am welcoming you to this video from Croatia and it's literally February, like I can't believe it, it's so super hot. I wanted to do the video with another setting but as it's so warm outside, I'm gonna be here and the sun is hopefully um, contributing to making this video very very inspiring so that you remember that you can literally manifest anything that you desire. And another thing before I jump into the video is that I am offering one-on-one -on -one support. You can check out my coaching services in the box below and then you can simply book a session or email coaching with me. You can also check out my money mindset course in the box below. All right, and now let's jump into the video. So I've been wanting to make this video for a while and I've actually been browsing YouTube um, a few weeks ago when I wanted to learn about what do dreams tell me about my manifestation. And I have my very own opinion about that. Uh, but when I was browsing to see what other teachers or other YouTubers are saying about this, I didn't find many videos. I think I found two videos and um, I was thinking like, hmm, hmm, why is nobody talking about this? I realized that there is not a lot of content out there. So that's why I'm sharing my perspective in this video. If you have some intuition or if you have your own opinion about this already, then comment in the box below. What do you think? What are your dreams telling you about your manifestation? So from my perspective, what happens when you're dreaming is that you are living out your subconscious belief system and you're basically in touch with your subconscious mind. And I know there are these dreams where you are thinking about what could this possibly mean. So I'm not necessarily referring to the dreams where you can't grasp at all what this could possibly mean, although I guess there there always is a hidden meaning behind it, even if it's very symbolic. But you know, sometimes we're just dreaming about a person or we are dreaming about a place. And then it's very, very obvious what it means. And specifically how this shows up in my dreams and how I think it's showing up for many people is that you can either dream that you have what you want or that you don't have what you want. That what you want is coming to you and is possible or that it's not possible. When I'm manifesting, I can see clearly that Sometimes my dreams are, you know, when I'm still at the beginning stage of manifesting something, they are very far away from what I want. So I might be dreaming about the thing that I desire that shows that it is imprinted in my subconscious mind. But if I'm not having it or if I'm losing it in the dream or if in the dream I feel very sad about it, it shows me that my subconscious mind is still imprinted with the reality of not having what I desire. Now, on the contrary, when you're dreaming about something that you want and in your dream it's coming towards you, you're having it, you're with that person or you're in that place or you've already manifested or you're already experiencing what it is that you desire and you're feeling natural about it or you're feeling excited, you're having some positive experience with that, it's a sign that your subconscious mind is being imprinted with you having what you desire. I think that's actually very straightforward because everything that is in our consciousness is just reflecting something back to us. So either you're in lack or you're in abundance of something. I think that's that's so obvious. I don't understand why there are not more videos about this out there because your dreams are a significant sign. And there's another thing about your dreams that I think is a good indicator on where you're at in your manifestation process. And that's how you feel when you wake up from the dream. So let's say that you have been dreaming that you already have your manifestation, you've already manifested your relationship, your specific person, or I don't know, your dream house, your money, whatever it is that you desire. And then you wake up and you know we all know how it feels to wake up from, from a dream and feel like ah oh, this was just a dream i feel so sad that i don't have what i desire that's one way you could be waking up from a dream or you could be waking up and feeling peaceful or even excited you could feel like wow this was such an amazing dream i know that it's coming i know that my manifestation is coming i know that i'm moving in the right direction this is another way how you can start to understand where you're at if you're starting to feel more like the person that already has your desire you will start dreaming about it in a positive way like you're already having it and when you wake up from that dream you will feel good you will feel relaxed you will feel excited because you know what you want 
is coming. On the other hand, if you are not yet fully there, if you're not yet very advanced in your manifestational process, which by the way is totally okay, you will get there. Don't worry, just persist and just keep on practicing your affirmations, keep on healing yourself and you're gonna get there as well. You can totally manifest what you desire. So even if you have a dream that tells you that you're not having what you want or you wake up from a good dream and you feel like I'm not having that, just take this as information and take this as a sign that shows you, all right, I'm not yet in resonance with the reality that I desire. That means I need to practice a little more. No problem with that. It's all an inner game. So you just keep on practicing. Just remember that the power lies within you. Your desires are not separate from you. Just keep on realigning with the reality of your dreams and you'll probably start dreaming about it. If you don't dream about it, that's also not a problem. If you're dreaming about it, use it as information. Don't see it as a negative sign, no matter what happens, and you're going to manifest what you desire. Now, let me know if this video was helpful, and thank you so much for being here, and then I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.